Enoch lived shortly after creation. He is named in chapter 5 of Genesis. That's how early in the Bible he is. But two other Bible writers mention him, Jude, and in the book of Hebrews, he's mentioned in those two places in the New Testament. He had a child when he was 65. He had other children after that. He lived for 365 years. He spent 300 of those years walking with God. And probably the most important part is that God took him from the earth. He didn't die. God just said, you're done now, and took him up to heaven. So what does the story, such as it is, have to do with us? Well, what Enoch is known for is walking with God, having this awesome relationship with him. Both the author of Jude and Hebrews mention that relationship. Well, I want to have a relationship with God like that. So how do I go about building a relationship with a God I can't see and I can't touch? Well, I started thinking about how I build relationships with my friends, and I figured I'd start building one with God the same way. At first, I invited him to have coffee with me, and so every morning for a while, we had coffee together. Sometimes we just look at the sunrise, sometimes I'd tell him what was going on. After a while, I wanted more, and I asked him, should we read the Bible together? Of course he said yes, he wants that to happen. So we read the Bible together, and then pretty soon I found myself talking to him throughout the day, asking his advice, thanking him for a cool parking spot, just anything. I, God was on my mind more and more every day. And so I think if Enoch lived in the 21st century with us, he would have had a relationship with God that started with a cup of coffee in the morning. And I think you can do the same thing.